basically you're, you have four identical blocks made the identical way with slightly different colors. And what they're made out of are these wonderful little thing called half square triangles blocks. Okay, so now I always slip into saying half square triangles, but what I'm really talking about is this whole square that's made of two half square triangles. And a lot of you probably already know how to make them, right? Mm -hmm. Thangles and everything like that. Okay, and so that is the way I did it in the pattern. I used thangles. And um, this is thangles. For this block, birds in the air, I used two inch thangles. Now when it says two inches, it means two inches finished. So we're not going to be cutting the strips two inches. We're going to cut the strips, as it says on the package, 2.5 inches if you're going to use thangles. If you're going to do it the old-fashioned way, I'm going to tell you how to do that too. Okay, so don't panic. So if you're going to do thangles and you want it to finish at two inches, you're going to cut it 2.5 inches, which is what I happen to have done here. Okay, and I have my, my strips. I put them right sides together. Okay, this is easy. The other block is harder, so we're just starting with the easy stuff. Um, and as you already know, those of you who've already used thangles, you line it up. And I like to pin it just because um, I mess things up real easily. And so pinning kind of counteracts that tendency that um, I have, which some of you may have and some of you may not. And if you don't have that, I'd really like to see you after class so you could give me some of whatever you've got. So you pin it together and you have this strip and then as you know, when you sew thangles, you're going to sew on the dotted line and put your presser foot on the straight line, right? Does everybody know how to do that or you want to see it? Okay, I'm going to show because I see some people are not. 